finally tonight. A few years back, proms used to be held in the school gym, but now a hotel ballroom is more the style of the time. Tonight in a Channel 5 cover story, Mark Schumacher looks at prom night 1986. Put your head on my shoulder. This is the image that most people have of prom night, the days when poodle skirts were the rage and you could hold your baby close. But things have changed. Of course, the music and the outfits have changed, but the biggest difference in a 1980s prom is the money that's being spent on one night of memories. I don't know about your prom memories, but I remember worrying about getting the right color flowers in the corsage to match the girl's dress. Now the big concern is getting the right color limo. And this night there were plenty of limos, not to mention the Jaguars and the occasional Rolls Royce. Others chose a more traditional Texas mode of travel. 150 bucks paid for a horse-drawn carriage ride, while some couples decided to pay $375 an hour for door-to-door -door helicopter service. How much did you, did you spend personally on getting this night together? About $400. About $400, and you? About $250 so. For me, I think about $10 and fifty dollars About $235 to get ready for tonight. Does that bother you or does that kind of no, shake you up? No, 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 no. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be worth it. I'm sure. How about you? For the gentleman, how much did you spend to get tonight together? At least $200. <laughs> By no means were these kids the big spenders. Here are just some of the dollars and cents of this prom night. The guys paid between $10 and $25 for flowers. $50 to $80 for a tux, and about $35 for a prom ticket. Then comes the food. Dinners range from $50 to $100 per couple. There were no Big Macs for these high schoolers. A limo cost anywhere from $250 to $350 for the ride to and from the prom. If you opt for pictures, tack another $10 to $50 on your tab, depending on what kind of package you go for. The girls, on the other hand, had to buy a prom dress, get shoes to match, and then get a hairdo. It's just a little different from past prom nights. I remember worrying about my day, spending too much money. I was very conscious of the fact that I didn't want to spend too much money. Conservative background, you know, they don't have this now. People weren't trying to keep up with the Joneses so much, I think, then. It was just having fun and getting together for one more time. You mean you didn't go to your prom in a Rolls Royce? I didn't know what a Rolls Royce was when I was a senior in high school, I don't think. Maybe a high school senior wouldn't have worn red high-top tennis shoes to a prom 20 years ago, but there's one thing that hasn't changed. Teenagers still have their priorities in the right place. Money doesn't matter. Mom pays for it. <laughs> Mark Schumacher, Channel 5 News tonight, Dallas. Tomorrow night we're going to check out how many parents are in Chapter 13. <laughs> and they're taking their kids' credit cards <laughs> That's back. That's right. That's our report for this Monday night. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you tomorrow night at 6. Until then, for Harold Scott and the entire family.